We want to sort of get our viewers to under, understand with this CNN strike, several toxic chemicals are transported by rail. And that's where Bob comes in. He's the president and CEO of the Chemistry Industry Association of Canada. Bob, appreciate your time. Thank you for making time for us. So this goes well beyond in terms of how it is uh, affecting farmers in terms of their, their crop and their supply. This work stoppage can impact the chemical industry uh, economically as well. Absolutely. You know, we're a, a very large industry, Canada's third largest industry, almost $60 billion a year. And 80% of that travels by rail, mm -hmm. $40 million a day on CN's network alone. Uh, that's uh, shut in production. So the economic losses are already there. And, uh, you know, you've talked about propane. That's one commodity, but I think people need to get ready. There are going to be more problems coming down the road. Gasoline, mm -hmm. for instance, travels by rail. Uh, the chlorine we produce goes into drinking water across all major metropolitan cities in Canada. So we're slow motion walking towards a, a, a pretty significant event if we don't see some resolution to the strike in very short order. And, keep, and as your last guest said, it will yeah. take some time to recover. Yeah, absolutely. And, and keeping those types of chemicals, those volatile types of chemicals, um, in sort of stranded and not sort of getting transported and then getting used, that in itself is very dangerous. Well, no, I, I don't think that would that is a concern. Uh, what you would have seen lot, late last week was CN giving notice to uh, producers of dangerous goods that okay. their load would have been embargoed before the strike. So they would have made sure they got things off the railways uh, just so that uh, containers wouldn't be left unattended for lengthy periods of time. So, uh, in fact, some of those facilities have been shut in since uh, three, four, five days before the strike even occurred. Okay, so then making sure that things are safe. Is there any other option to transport um, no. these, these you know, aside from rail or now it's just a waiting game? Well, there is no plan B. I mean, mm -hmm. almost all facilities of every industry, including chemistry, are served by only one of the two major railways, CN or CP. Mm -hmm. uh, there's simply no choice. If you're on the CN line, <laughs> there's no ability to get your product to CP. Right. Uh, the product cannot, most products, uh, either because of the, the size of the commodity, the, the amounts involved, it's simply not realistic to put these on to uh, trucks and transport them over the, the, the mountains to the ports of Vancouver. Mm -hmm. And in some cases, again, chlorine used widely used for drinking water in all major metropolitan cities. Uh, it's not possible to send it by, by road. It has to go in highly secure, uh, very, very impact resistant containers on the rail system. So really so quickly... Well, I was going to say there's no plan B, but really quickly, could that plan B then get the federal government involved and get things back up, back up, get the workers back? Well, we certainly think so. I mean, Minister Garneau, uh, we have a lot of confidence in him. He knows the impacts very well. Mm -hmm. uh, he is correct. We agree with him. The best outcome is a negotiated settlement. That's for sure. But we also know that the best way to get that negotiated settlement is for the federal government to indicate that it's willing and starting to put the machinery government in motion. It right. will take many days, even if the government said today it intends to put in place legislation to uh, impose a uh, um, uh, uh, negotiated agreement, right. it will take many days for Parliament to actually get that machinery of government up and running. And even when the strike is ended by government, it's going to take many days, if not weeks, for mm -hmm. the rail system to fully recover. So time yeah. is of the essence. We need to see action from the federal government it, as soon as possible. Yeah, we're hearing that from everyone from all sides. Bob uh, Masterson, really appreciate your time today. Thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank You're you. You're welcome.